everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you wanted to join me today because today we are going to talk about what I carry around with me when I leave my apartment. I thought it would have some educational value and maybe there are some of these products or maybe there are some of these tricks and hacks that you have never heard of or thought of and this way it will sort of kickstart a sustainability reflection process and that's what we want. So these are just everyday items that I use and everyday tricks and tips that I use myself. So let's get into it, yo. If I am leaving home for work, usually I write and edit and stuff in cafes if I don't do it at home and I like to work elsewhere sometimes just to keep my brain not going everywhere else. Um, and in that case, I bring my backpack. This is also what I use when I travel. This is from Charlie Feast and I absolutely love this backpack. It's made with recycled materials. Okay, so do the first thing. I'll do the first thing first. Do the biggest thing first, I reckon. So this is my laptop sleeve. I haven't had a laptop sleeve before this one. And honestly, I've always been really bad at taking care of my stuff. But in the name of sustainability, it's a good idea to take care of your stuff because then you won't have to buy new stuff all the time. So it can be kind of a good idea. Um, and I got this laptop sleeve from Grinbag. This is also made with recycled materials from truck covers and different industrial uh, waste products and plastic waste so that's pretty cool but it's a good idea to keep your things safe i'll just throw things over here that would be here then i have a day planner um you could save paper and have it online or digitally in any sort of shape or form or on your laptop or on your cell phone but my memory sucks you guys and something that really really works for me is writing stuff down and i love love to have a notebook i'm not one of those crazy people that buys tons of notebooks because they all look pretty i buy a notebook when i need a notebook but i've had this one since august i think so it's actually quite new and i save all my old notebooks because then you can look at them and i don't just do like day planning. I also write ideas for tattoos or my work or ideas that I have in general or what I do as a workout or inspirations or impacts and generally what goes on in my head. So it's also kind of bullet journal journal style. So this I keep with me all the time because when people ask me, are you free on the 22nd? I have absolutely no idea. So I have to go and check it. Hence the book. Okay, getting into the smaller stuff. A, one of the most basic things that you sort of need as a sustainability advocate or generally as a person who wants to avoid waste is a reusable water bottle. Water bottle. <laughs> water bottle. It does not have to be this water bottle. I recently invested in a clean canteen because I was tired of having like other kinds because they broke on me and they weren't as good and they weren't leak proof, which is which is what you want. Um, so I recently invested in a clean canteen and I'm so happy that I did. I've been bringing this with me around ever since and I absolutely love it. The water in the taps in Denmark you can drink so there's literally no excuse not to. And it's a really cool way of saving a ton of trash. I saw that meme, the Ahoy girl from Stranger Things meme that says, she's like with a sign or something that says, well, uh, plastic, no. I recently found a new secondhand wallet that could hold all my things. Before that, I've been using the same wallet for 10 years and it just fell completely apart on me and I decided to find a new one. Um, and it took me like a month to find something secondhand that I actually wanted and, and that fit me. And I ended up with this. This is actually leather, which I'm not like a complete fan of, but it does make sense because it's very, very durable and it will last me a long time. And it's secondhand and I bought it in a Red Cross store, so. Next, I have my phone. Oh, it's the end. I have my phone, I actually have an iPhone and I feel kind of bad about it every day because even though this is secondhand, I am still promoting Apple, which I do not want. But all my electronics are secondhand, including the camera I am filming this video on. Everything is secondhand, which is a much better way of purchasing or consuming electronic goods rather than buying them from new. But obviously, Apple, Apple sucks, you guys. Look into it. If I'm ever going to get like a new phone, like a new phone from new, um, I think I 
would get a fair phone i would just invest in a fair phone because it way it makes way more sense down down the line in the long run then i have my sunglasses i keep them i keep them in this like cardboard uh, box just to keep them safe i'm really bad at this you guys i always end up just throwing them in my bag and then just oh maybe i should get like my actual container for them um, another way of sort of just making sure that your stuff doesn't break all the time but my glasses are from monkey glasses they look like this boom, boom. i really really like these these are also made from sustainable and recycled materials. When I don't use these, I have another pair of vintage glasses and I keep them in this container as well because I might as well use this for everything. Boom. I have the top tier of my eco lunchbox. I use this for basically everything. Um, and inside it is a spork. This is a spork. It is a stainless steel fork slash slash spoon combo and this is really nice and you can bring this with you basically everywhere and I love this to bits this is one of the first things I got like that was zero waste related then I have some fabric this is like a vegan food wrap um, as an alternative to bees wax wrap words I wrap my sandwiches in this and it's really handy and neat and when I'm done using it, I'll just wash it and uh, let it dry and I can use it again. The last piece of like cloth wax paper that I had, I had for three years. So they can, I mean, they can last for a while. And obviously my stainless steel lunchbox. This is one of my best things and I, one of the things that I use the most often. Whenever I'm at like a takeout place or I need to bring my leftovers for a restaurant back home or any sort of buffet situation, I ask them to get it in my own container. This is neat and nice and boing. And boing? <laughs> sure. I see a few elastic bands. These are actually, I cannot remember the brand, but I will see if I can find it and put it in the description for you but these are plastic free elastic bands for your hair and uh, that's just really really nice because normal uh, rubber bands normal hair ties there it is hair ties normal hair ties have plastic inside and they're really really hard to dispose of properly because they'll probably just go to landfill and uh, these ones are compostable which is kind of cool bam and there's more in this is there I don't know all right oh my god i'm disgusting <laughs> um do you know the feeling where you have like a box of gum and you don't know where to put your used gum so you just put it in the cap of your box that's just that's not what i did um great but this is true gum i recently discovered recently recently i've known for like a year or something but i haven't really acted on it i just refused um that normal gum contains plastic and is not biodegradable which is why you see it on the sidewalk every single mother flippin' day. And True Gum is one of the first brands that I've heard of that made vegan and uh, plastic-free gum, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. And uh, I've just been having this for a snack for quite a while. It's raspberry flavor and it's so, so good. Bam. Okay, so that was my backpack. Then I have another bag. Oh my god, this video is going to be so long. This is going to go by a lot faster, I promise. This is like my farmer's market going out for errands bag. It's also from Grunbag and this is also made from like industrial plastics that has been recycled, which I think is cool. And in here I have stuff I usually use when I go to the farmer's market. First of all, I have my, my headset. This is from Marshalls. I bought it secondhand and you know what, actually? I tried to fix it, but it didn't really work because now something has gone wrong in the connection between the two earpods and it doesn't really work. So I use it just like to protect my ears when I'm on my bike. Uh, you need to take better care of your stuff than I do. Okay, oh, that was embarrassing. Next, I have some gloves. These were my mom's. I think they're 20 years old at this point and I use them every single day. Um, they are leather though, just as the um, just as the wallet, but again, they're 20 years old. Might as well use what I already have instead of buying new things. You feel? Then I have my keys and uh, not much excitement here. Um, my keychain with this weird little pearly bracelet is actually a four ocean bracelet that I just use to just 
I mean, so I can have my... Then I have um, two different glass containers. When I go to the farmer's market, I don't want to bring like a ton, a literal ton of glass containers, so I don't. Um, sometimes I have a few small glass containers with me, um, but other than that, I will just use canvas bags in different sizes. And also, not, not gonna throw these, gonna put them, put them here. <laughs> these are the band-aids from, I see I can see, show you just a tiny bit. These are the bandage from Patch, uh, which I have been trying out. It's the first zero waste related uh, eco-friendly band-aid that I have ever found because most band-aids contain plastic and these uh, biodegrade and completely decompose within 10 weeks in a compost. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, and they're made with bamboo and activated charcoal. I always keep a few band-aids in my bags because I get paper cuts like nobody's business. So uh, that's a good thing to have on hand. Then I have a few different canvas bags for my farmer's market. I bring more than I need every time because then, I mean, then I'm sure that doesn't weigh anything. So we have uh, two smaller sizes here. I use this one for bread often and this for nuts or seeds or something. <laughs> one of my friends, she embroidered G Master onto it. And I'm there for that content. <laughs> Slightly bigger. This is from Life Without Plastic. Um, it's also inside out. I think I got this with my spork actually. And then I have a giant, a giant <laughs> canvas bag from my bulk store in Copenhagen, Luis. Which I don't go to very often because I live in Aalborg. But I, I do like to promote the store because we need more bulk stores. Everyone listen up in Denmark, we need more bulk stores. I have in the bottom my, my bum bag, which I got from Marla Clothing. I have actually met her, the woman behind Marla Clothing. She's so, so nice. And she made these bum bags, fanny packs with, there we are, with recycled denim, which I think is intensely cool and it matches everything I own. So this is one of the things that I wear all the time. And I usually just keep it in a bigger bag because when I filled this up with greens, I don't want to have my phone and whatnot lying around in the bottom. And then I use my fanny pack. Uh, yeah, and that's it. You guys, that is everything that I have in my bags. And it's honestly the stuff that I use almost every single day. Um, it's not that difficult, it does not require that much to be zero waste, it doesn't have to look like this, it can look in a million other ways literally. It's just about rethinking your habits and your routines and just starting to think a little bit ahead and thinking about what kind of needs do I have, what purposes do I have in my everyday life and then try to think of alternatives to disposable plastic. It's that simple. I hope you're going to try and reflect a little bit upon how you go about in your everyday life and what kind of packaging that you are using and how you can maybe not use some of that packaging. This is what it looks like for me. It will probably be different for you. Let me know what kind of must-haves, I don't really like that sort of term, but what kind of things do you love in your everyday life and what kind of things are most purposeful to you in your everyday life? I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a comment down below and like this video if you liked it. That would make my day. Thank you so much and have an amazing day. See you later, guys. Deuces. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste content and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!